All right, guys, take your love vitamin. I have a message for someone. Your family members and friends, the, your loved ones, the people you love and cherish the most get attacked the most because the spiritual attacks and warfare don't weigh on you the same. These people do not know how to detach from situations they have gotten emotionally attached to and or people. You are being attacked indirectly through your, it could be romantic relationship, um, relationships with your siblings, uh, parents, your children, uh, relatives, but you're being attacked indirectly. These attacks are meant to make you stress out, pause, delay, because that's why your family is going through what your loved ones. Because some people, it's family. Others of you all, it's personal relationships. They're being attacked be to throw you off track. That's why their life is being off track. That's why they rebel against your wide counsel, your direction, what your intuition and spirit shows you. There could be some sort of prophetic anointing that's over your life to truly break generational curses. You have broken them off of your life, but the enemy is, if you all have children, no matter what age the children are, young, old, uh, middle age, these children are being attacked in their lives and lifestyles. It's to take you off course. You are the person that he's wide counsel you listen in the spirit yep 24 breaking down to a six there's some sort of prophetic anointing over your life for you and your family members and you know people that are added to your life that's why when people when you come into people's life they experience you know shift and changes awakenings some people they don't see their life for what it really is but because of this mantle this anointing that's over you you break that bondage off their eyes you cause those spiritual cataracts to go away and they can see and they also could become very clairvoyant they couldn't hear then they become clear um clear audience they couldn't you know sense anything People people change. Even their gift of their, their ability, their ability of being clear assistance, the way they feel. Their clear knowing, clear cognizance. This happens when they encounter you. Yep. You are the gift of the sacred light. That reading touched me. It's you. That the enemy is truly after, you hold a prophetic gift. I will show you who you can trust. All these people you have likely had, it could be mama, daddy, brother, sister, cousin, child, boyfriend, girlfriend, twin, whatever. All these people have violated your trust. Friends that you, you, you have an offness with. And the reason why is because the enemy wants to attack you in your mind. But it's where you're the strongest at. Unfortunately, your loved ones, the people you care about, they're vulnerable there. That's why they have people that snake them. This is something you could have learned very early or in a previous lifetime. This 24 breaking down to a 6. This 29 breaking down to 11. And this number 2, you are spiritually inclined. You're balanced enough. You hold a, the Akashic Records for your life. You've accessed them. They are activated. 42 breaking down to a 6 again. You are spiritually gifted. You can recognize these attacks. Even if it's something as simple as you just pulling back. And you are the opposite of what your family member, friends, loved ones, twins are. You give ample amount of space and relationships 
all relationships to see the beauty and the beast, whether it be in you and or another person. The enemy is attacking your people. This is high level spiritual warfare. This is high level attacks to try to get you off guard as well. You, you have rediscovered your individuality and you have become the dragon. So when it's, it's like this right here. The things that used to apprehend you, no, they can't. They can't touch you. That's what it is. You are the generational curse breaker. Some of your family, the reason, and it, some of you all, it is family. Others of you, it's these relationships that you connect with. People being sent into you. And you have a lot of testy seasons where you meet people and you think that they're going to be a whole tree slash root in your life. And it's just a season. They're going to weather away. They're like a leaf. When they shade, when they shed, it's over. Short seasons, long seasons. This is why you're this is this is why everybody around you rebels because it's your anointing. Yep. But you were meant to live this life. And this is not always just like I say about money. This is this is about um your level your your level of prophetic gifting. This is a gift that you have. This is not a talent. This is a gift that's been bestowed unto you by God himself. It's a gift. The devil stays after you, but he attacks what's closest to you. Family, friends, finances, health, relationships. It's stumbling blocks. And if your, your crew would just heed your wise counsel, it would make it easier. But that's not the way always necessarily because they're being they're going to be activated like a mother sucker after all of this but you being activated you can re recognize the devil you can recognize the snake when he crawls in on his belly you recognize this it's your gift that the devil is after some of you all you you, you really have a high anointing a serious prophetic anointing. <clears throat> what I told you. They go to hair font. It's your gift. It's your calling to life as well. All this is meant to distract you. All this is meant to keep you from being who you are called and who you're supposed to evolve into being. This is also meant to take you out of place of structure. Some of you all, you've balanced out, you know, religion, um, traditional things, spirituality. You found and discovered your niche in that for you and it's working. The enemy doesn't like this. So the best way to get you is get you through the ones that you love and care for the most. Your church people. But more so your family, children, parents siblings, close friends to cause alts in your life. And they don't recognize that. If you haven't, you may begin to recognize it immediately after this reading. But this is because you have a higher calling. You are on a higher level. Every level brings another strategic devil. You have to consistently Switch up your strategy because you have a high calling. Now, when they fall into play, you're going to tap into ebb and flow. Many of you all, you come from, it's not just about dysfunctional families as far as, you know, arguing, fussing, and fighting. It could be hardship. It could be health issues. It could be mental disorders. But you are bringing in divine alignment in your life. It could be relationship patterns that you're clearing out. You are clearing out an ancestral pattern. Whether you have discovered that or not. Yep. 
the Hermit card goes straight into the Four of Cups. Yep. There are many traumas that you have already balanced out. And see, that's what the enemy is doing. He's trying to use your traumas to re-traumatize you. And it hasn't worked. So he's getting those that's close to you again. They're being traumatized. And some of them, you could have warned them, forewarned them. They didn't take heed. This is a fall they have to embrace and this is also something they're going to have to realize about their individual life and it helped them realize who you are in their life and it's not just about you being a blessing to them but they will be a blessing to you but this is their cup they must drink from this is the darkness that they must go through to find the light these are spiritual attacks being done but these are things that they have to deal with that inner man, that inner woman, that wounded place, that hurt place, that bitter place, that ancestral pattern that a spirit or energy has jumped onto them. What's the hair font in the hermit card? It's going to enlighten them. But it's also meant to slow you down and or stop you. You can't afford to stop. Because this is why they're going to be able to tap into the light. Because you hold a sacred and ancient key to healing and breaking generational curses. Also, you have an ancient... Wow. You have an ancient mantle over you. When people speak ill over your life, the very thing they pray and hope for you is what they get. People are going to learn about putting their mouth on you, though. So this may be like a two-in-one situation here. Many of you, that's why you've had issues with your love life. I see um, strongholds that have been trying to attach itself, reattach itself to slow you down with your movement and this is a movement of relationship but divine love to keep you in a place of false hope to make you feel like love does not exist to make you feel like you know you have to you know stay in dysfunctional uh, relationship cycles and things like that and become this is a major a major karmic cycle that's been broken off your life this karmic cycle ain't over your life honey this your family but you still manifest these people. They still are attached, attracted to you. You These people are drawn to you because of what's inside of you. Light going to always attract dark. Dark going to always go to light. It's the polarity of life. So you get people that have these issues, but then they rebel and rebuttal against what the Holy Spirit gives you to give them. Some of you all, you definitely have higher knowledge. They don't like that. So they challenge you and make you feel like you're less than or you don't know what you're speaking of. But that, like I said, the very thing they rebuttal against is the very thing they have to learn the harsh way, the harder way. What's the um, nine of swords? This ain't nothing but spiritual warfare right here. But for some of you all, this is high level spiritual warfare because you're getting hit in almost every angle. This is when you have to detach from everybody, where they hurt their feelings, where they understand, and you got to take at least one season, at least one season by yourself. One season is three months, 90 days. You have to subtract everybody from your life, especially those that were recently added in the last three years. And you have to go back and put the pieces to the puzzle together. And you will see the breadcrumbs of the enemy probing your life with specific people sent to snake you. People sent into your children's life, your friend's life that are close to you to invoke spiritual warfare, high level spiritual warfare to keep you at bay with your assignment. This is an attack on your prophetic assignment. These people need you in their life, whether they want to admit it or not. They may never tell you, but I'm telling you they do because it's your anointing that's keeping them and they're sparing them. What's the nine of swords? 
What I told you. They don't curse it. See, something has been delayed over your life, in your life for quite some time. It's taken you a long time to get it. And the reason is, is because you also have some sort of, um, what's that thing called? I was just studying this the other day. Hold on. Your destiny. A part of your destiny is attached to some of these people. It takes a bit much because they could vibe a little lower than what you do or extremely lower. A part of your prophetic blessing runs through the lives and the hands of these people. And what that means is God sent you all here to break certain karmic cycles and dysfunctional patterns in your life. Be it biologically or, or things that you have been seeded with. Some of you all here, you just, you have a high level of an anointing. What's the nine of wands? Dealing with your own traumas first was what you had to deal with. That's how you're able to recognize these in family members, friends, associates, colleagues, and things of that nature. Holy Spirit, what's the nine of wands? Some of you all, you've been through these abusive cycles. What I told you. See here? It's over. All that abuse you went through. Psychological, physical, emotional, and spiritual. Some of you all here, you went through this very early in life. I told you. See, this is what you can't see. This is what's manifesting in your life. But the enemy don't want you to see it, focus on it, because he keeps himself busy in the lives of people that you love and that you're closest to the most. That's what spiritual warfare is all about. Also, there's a specific legacy for you to build, for you to establish, for you to accumulate, for you to leave back. Honey, you are in a spiritual warfare fight. Again, some of you all is high level spiritual warfare. Warfare, and it's meant to keep you juggling and imbalanced by the ones that you love the most with trickery. Also to keep you thinking that you'll always be single, never have children, never have a family, and to keep you in regrets, making you feel like you know it's never going to happen. That is the spirit and the energy of hopelessness and depression. But the good news is coming. It's right around the corner. I want to get this other day. Hold on a second. I'm going to get something. Almost everybody that's close to you is under some sort of attack. It's an indirect attack to get you. Yep. Holy Spirit. You are the key to these people and their freedom. You can't choose for them, but you can show them the way. That's why you're leading. Whether you are a male or a female. I know many of you are females. And this is a specific time that you've been chosen to lead. Specifically families out of darkness. Dealing with traumas, hurts, pains. Yeah. There's a mantle over your life. I, can, I know you've been ostracized. I know you've been cast out. I know you are the black sheep, but you were that way for a reason because you are the chosen one. All right. Yep, open. Dang. 
You're open wide open. Say yes. Expand through the extremes. Trust life. Some of these are extreme situations and they may become very extreme. But you are the earth angel. You are the star seed. You are the light worker. You are the one. You are the one that's going to break this curse off of people. Also, you're going to operate more in the prophetic. Whispers of Mother Earth, creativity, ideas, inspiration, artist, writer, channel. You're going, you channel very high. You will begin to channel differently so that you can have a very artistic flow. Writer, there could be something very specific that you go into writing. Holy Spirit, what else? Healing is happening. You're not broken. Trust the process. It's safe. It's safe to soften. Many of you all, especially you women, you could have been very hard for a long time like me in life. And this is the Holy Spirit, you know, healing you. You've healed from some things and still may have some things to heal from as we all do. But what God is saying is you're not broken. You are meant to trust this process and it allow you to be soft and to be open up. This is a specific time for your life to have change and to help your family members and your true loved ones to recognize and acknowledge change so that they can be the change that they have seen in you and recognize. Now, here, here it is. This is, the, this is a divine plan in your life. Wisdom, intelligence, intelligence within, and destiny. This is your destiny. This is your promise. This is your walk of life. This is your cup that you got to sip from, as well as your loved ones. See, your life is meant, your life was meant to be on display for these people that are around you so that you could teach and share with them, instill certain things in them, instruct them, educate them. But they were going to rebuttal first, you know, go against it, not agree, not take heed. They'll come back. It just they're not they're not gonna be the same when they come back necessarily. Don't minimize this just to oh, this is my masculine. These are family issues that God is healing and restoring. You're being restored from a different level, a solar level. <clears throat> Respect your physical body, detox, rejuvenate, um, relax. You could be someone that you are breaking patterns in how you eat, how you take care of your physical self, take just taking care of yourself in general. You, I just keep hearing curses, honey. You are a curse breaker. You are a major curse breaker, male or female. It's men and women here. Interact and relate, community, family, traditions. Also, you're going to change these traditional values. Someone had to go. Some of you all, you could have lost siblings, relatives early, young in life or in the middle of life. Their gift and their talents are being bestowed upon you as well. Yep. All right. <clears throat> One more card to close this out. Holy Spirit, and we're done with that. What I told you. Family connections, respect, people, kinship. You're breaking generational curses for your family. You're breaking generational curses so other people can recognize it in their family. Everybody doesn't deal with the same level of curses. There are financial curses here. There are physical curses here, ailments, mental curses, emotional curses, um, psychological curses. There are narcissistic curses that are being broken. So everybody doesn't resonate with the same thing. Open to love, relationship, passion, fulfillment. When you least suspect this, this is what you're going to get. Because it's who you have become. Some of you all, you come from dysfunctional families where you didn't experience love. All you experienced was abuse and neglect abandonment, rejection. God is restoring all of that. 
He's also uh, regenerating things to where people are being assigned and they're being sent to their spirit families. You So some of you all that are coming, like, you know, becoming influencers, you're going to have a certain following because of the, the things that you've dealt with and went been through in life. Others of you, it's your season to be open to love, get married, you know, have a mother-in-law, uh, father-in-law, sister-in-law's brother-in-laws but these are family connections that's being restored from a cellular excuse me a cellular level be thankful gratitude appreciation and harmony because guess what it's actually over it's over for you but you got to pray and intercede for these family members friends and associates because they're coming through i want to get a card from archangel michael I told you, you cannot look back. You cannot stop because you are the leader. You must go forward fearlessly because this is what other people around you are accustomed to fear. You're breaking that curse of fear, that false experience that appears real. Everybody's being attacked because of your assignment, because of your gift. This is not a talent. This is a gift. But you have elders in the spirit world that have bestowed gifts on you. Some of you all, it could be siblings that have went on before you. People that you lost early in life in the bloodline and or friendship line. Their gift is being bestowed on you. You must have confidence. See, prayer will help the situation. Intercession has its place just like intervention. God will intervene, but you must intercede and use the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Guard it and protect it. That you are. You need to pray and intercede for your family and loved ones and keep yourself shielded. Because some of them have heavy attachments and things on them from other people, situations, and things like that. But it's all meant to try to attach and, and or reattach to you and your assignment. Welcome to life. Peace and blessings. Great day. I hope this helps. Namaste.